Item number SCP-1012 Object Class Cutter Special Containment Procedures The Foundation has implemented protocols to cancel or to reduce the risk of generation of three of the five constituent sound tones that comprise SCP-1012. Frequency B and Frequency D Frequencies B prime and D prime are respectively the antiphases of frequencies B and D. These antiphase frequencies cancel frequencies B and D respectively within the range of the broadcast. The Foundation operates sound detection and active noise cancellation broadcast devices in 36 locations worldwide, which continually monitor for frequencies B and D and when appropriate, broadcast cancellation signals at frequency B prime or D prime. Additionally, the foundation has arranged for most of the world's electrical acoustic transducers to monitor for frequencies B and D, and when necessary, broadcast frequencies B prime or D prime. This has been achieved through a combination of inserting design changes into the engineering specifications of most commonly manufactured electrical acoustic transducers manufactured since 1988. Inserting frequency B prime, D prime or both into the transmissions of broadcast media and the encoding of recorded media, including inserting design changes into the engineering specifications of recording appliances so that frequency B prime, D prime or both are automatically encoded and by manipulating the supply frequencies of commercially transmitted and distributed electric power so as to cause sound equipment and other electric appliances to be capable of sympathetically generating frequency B prime or D prime. Note, under normal circumstances, frequencies B prime and D prime are each subsequently higher than the upper frequency limit for mammalian hearing and are therefore inaudible to humans as well as other animals with a greater range of hearing such as dogs. However, it has been reported that some humans exposed to strong broadcasts of frequency D prime experience tinnitus. Under certain atmospheric and geologic conditions such as those prevailing in Dallas, New Mexico and Bristol, UK, the broadcast of frequencies B prime or D prime may be audible. Additionally, some models of fluorescent lighting tubes and cathode ray tube televisions emit audible tones in sympathetic resonance with frequency B prime or D prime. Frequency D in the wild, most instances of the generation of frequency D had consisted of the whole song of Balenoptera. So body, the so far whale. Through foundation efforts, the so far whale became extinct in 1982, thereby decreasing the likelihood that the tone would inadvertently be generated in a location near the generation of other consonant tones. All document that specifies the consonant sound tones of SCP-1012 is to be kept strictly confidential. Description SCP-1012 is a code consistent of five sound tones, designated frequencies A, B, C, D, and E. The tones of SCP-1012 are Frequency A, 415.305 BHz, within range of human hearing, slightly higher than G note. Frequency B, beep kilohertz, ultrasonic. Frequency C, BPERTS, infrasonic, lower than the range of human hearing, but observable at higher intensities in the form of vibrations. Frequency D, beep kilohertz, ultrasonic. Frequency E, BPERTS, within range of human hearing, but merely used in the chromatic musical scale. The generation of one or more but less than all of the constituent tones of SCP-1012 does not result in anomalous effects. 
the simultaneous generation of all five tones of SCP-1012 for a duration exceeding a few seconds of X. Note that the described result is predicted according to the cosmological models set forth in Foundation Document 8001.2552.kt.1012. Laboratory testing of the model is prohibited. The resonance of certain subatomic particles within range causing them to disintegrate into the constant elementary particles. Computer modeling predicts that a generation of SCP-1012 within close proximity of a mass such as an astronomical body is likely to result in an uncontrollable chain reaction resulting in a disintegration of virtually all matter comprising the mass. According to the model, once such a chain reaction is initiated, it will continue to progress whether or not the tones of SCP-1012 are continuing to be generated until all available mass is affected, i.e. a CK class scenario, proposals to use SCP-1012 or a modified version as a defense mechanism against hostile extraterrestrial threats, including SCP-1548 and SCP-2838 has been rejected due to potentially disastrous side effects of SCP-1012 testing.